text functions modify or provide information about text strings that we find in data. A text string is a series of characters such as letters, numbers, and punctuation that is not treated like a number. Examples of text or text strings are names, phrases, cities, countries, not a date, or a number. There are many text functions in spreadsheets. We're going to go through a useful subset of these, starting with the substitute function. This is different from the find and replace tools we looked at in the previous lesson. Those were used to make fundamental changes to values that exist in cells. In that case, the original information was destroyed and replaced. When using a substitute function, the original data remains intact. It's just transformed in a new location that we create. Let's take a closer look at how to do this. I have a string, the quick brown fox, and I want to replace brown with red. There are a couple of ways that you can enter a formula in Excel, and I'll go over both. One way is to use the formula bar. Select your cell, then click the FX button on the formula bar. Notice that it automatically enters the equal sign to get you started. A dialog will appear with the menu of functions and a search box. Select the function you want and click OK. Another dialog will appear with boxes for entering the function parameters. There's also some helpful information. For the substitute function, the first parameter box is for the text, which means the text we're searching on. The sentence in A1 for this example, you can type A1 or select the cell directly. The next box is for the old text, which is brown, and then a box for the new text, which is red. Finally, there's a box for the instance number, which is an optional parameter. I'll leave this blank to indicate I want all occurrences to be substituted. And we see that my new result is a sentence where brown has been replaced with red. Notice that this dialog also automatically put my old and new values in quotes. The second way to do this is more direct and a little faster. Select the cell you want and just start typing the formula. Starting with the equal sign, a list appears trying to autocomplete what you've typed. Click Tab to select the highlighted function. Now we see a helpful prompt showing function parameters with the first parameter highlighted and optional parameters shown in brackets. Click the cell for the first parameter, then type the comma to move on to the next parameter. Notice that you need to type the double quotes yourself for the text values with this method. Just close the parentheses and click Enter, and you've entered all the required parameters.